ever have a thought so fucked up? You're like, damn, bro, I didn't even know I was capable of that shit. <laughs> Bro, the other day, my girl said we needed to get an ottoman, which is like the most fucking fiance thing to do. We need, we need to get an ottoman. God forbid we sit on the couch with our feet on the ground like peasants. God forbid. We need an ottoman. So when I wake up to piss in the night, I have something to slam my shins into. We need the ottoman. So we're at Graham Barrel. I look over my left shoulder. I see this Middle Eastern dude standing on this carpet. Now. I'm not going to say a single fucking thing. I just looked over and I went, that's the best I could do. I see a Middle Eastern dude on a carpet. I'm going to chuckle, dude. I'm sorry. I gave it a huh, and I shut it down real quick. Because that guy is there just so he could furnish his apartment. It doesn't matter that I think he's about to take off on that fucking thing. At okay. one point in time, he bends over to check the price and curls the front of the carpet. I was like, oh, he is out of here. He went under the hood. It's about to be Fast and the Furious Arabian Nights in this bitch. But I didn't say anything. I kept it in here, okay? Because it's not life or death. Now, don't get me wrong. If we're on the edge of a cliff... And it's me, a carpet, and a Middle Eastern dude, and a pack of hyenas is closing in on us. There might be some words exchanged. I'm not going to be too direct about it. I'll probably be like, what do you think we should do to get out of this predicament? Middle Eastern guy next to the carpet? He's looking at me like, the fuck you want me to do? It's a whole pack of hyenas. I'm like, motherfucker, there's a whole new world. If we just get on this goddamn carpet and go to safety, show me the world, okay? You've seen the movie too. It's a two-seater. We can fit on this bitch. Show me the goddamn world.